Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Avita. This is my first YouTube video. I created my channel about a year and a half ago, but I just have never gone ahead and took the leap and uploaded a video. So uh, for the new year, I started an Instagram page and a Twitter page, and now I am recording my first video. So as you can see in the title, this is going to be a Sephora haul. I know it's kind of late, but it's fine. It's makeup, you know, and I shopped all the sales. And my birthday also happened during the sale, too. So I got a lot of great goodies to share. So if you would like to see what I got and you think you might like to hang out with me, then please keep watching. Thumbnail. <laughs> so uh, I did some damage. We have uh, a big box and some bags. I've got three or four bags. And then I've got this bag. So I'm going to start off with skincare. I know a lot of people think skincare is boring. I think skincare is great. Um, you know, great. Take care of your face and your makeup will look fantastic. I am just an enthusiast. I am not a makeup artist or anything like that. I'm not even a makeup artist on me, much less anybody else. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get started. So, first thing. I got the Drunk Elephant Asian Ellie skincare set. I am not new to Drunk Elephant. This is a actually a re-up for me. Sorry. I was just trying to make sure I was in focus. I'm going to remember to look at the camera. Um, so this is the um, day set. And it comes with the Sea Firmer Day Serum. It comes with the uh, Polypeptide Cream. The B Hydra uh, Intensive Serum. And then it comes with the Shaba, sorry, I need to put my glasses on. Uh, the Shaba Complexion, the Shaba Complex, I'm sorry, eye serum. And then it comes with the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense uh, Sunscreen. Now, uh, I have been using this. Like I said, this is a re-up for me. I love this serum and I absolutely love this um, B Hydra Intense Serum. Uh, I actually bought a large one of these for the, not the uh, appreciation sale, but before that. I was actually on a no buy doing the Sephora appreciation sale. So anyway, um, I have tried this. I, I like this. I don't know if I'm going to get um, uh, the full size of bottle, I mean jar of it or not. It's really lightweight, so it's great for using as a moisturizer before you put your uh, foundation, before you put your makeup on your foundation on. Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm still up in the air about the eye cream because I noticed that it kind of, kind of tingled a little bit up under my eyes and I don't, I don't care for stuff. I kind of, I'm sensitive around my eyes and I have sens sensitive eyes. So I'm, I still use it, but I'm, I'm on the fence about if I would repurchase uh, this or get a larger size. And this is the um, tinted sunscreen. Now the other kit, the, the one that I got last year had the other, uh, sunscreen that they carry and I did not care for that one at all it left me really really purple it's not something that you can just put on and wear you have to let that sink in and before you put your makeup on and I just really didn't care for that this one I do like better so that I got was the nighttime kit this one is um inspector drunk Oh, and I forgot to mention, this this whole thing in a, about having the um, magnifying glass is so you can look at your products and 
find the culprits, find the, you know, the ones that are committing the crimes, such as fragrance and other things, um, that could be uh, harmful to your skin or irritating to your skin. This one is the um, Night Serum, and this one has the uh, TLC Framboose uh, Glycolic Night Serum, and it has um, BH, is it AHA and BHA um, acids. So this is a resurfacing serum. I love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, there's also another one of the um, Behydra Intense Serums in here. This is the Lala Whipped Cream Moisturizer. I had this last year in the other kit. I tried it. I don't really care for this moisturizer. I have other moisturizers that I like uh, much more than this one. And this is the Day um, eye, eye Cream, Eye Serum, Under Eye Serum. And I've been trying it, and it's okay, too. And it also kind of has a little tingling effect to it. So I'm up in the air about that one, too. And this is the uh, Jelly, the Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly uh, Cleanser. I'm sorry, I'm just making sure I'm in frame. <laughs> um, and I've tried this before, and I don't care for this either. So there's, there's, you know, some hits for me with Drunk Elephant and definitely some misses for me with Drunk Elephant. But the products that I do enjoy, I, I really, really like them. And um, this is a, a cruelty-free and a clean product. So they are, if you are interested in those kind of products, then you should try Drunk Elephant. It is pricey. The first time I tried it, I, I got the little... Kind of comes with a little mini one that has uh they have two sets of mini that just has like two products in it but i i absolutely really really love this so i will have to keep buying this over and over because of what it does for my skin my skin is um plump and soft and my makeup goes on really smoothly and it keeps my skin looking bright and hydrated. So I really, really, really love this. Next is another Drunk Elephant product. I picked up the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Love this stuff. It's really pricey, but it's really, really, really good. Um, I was using the... I used Josie Marin's Argan Oil, and I also was using um, another Argan Oil um, as a facial oil. And then I just, I got a sample of this when I purchased the, I think it came with the, the night uh, set of the uh, Drunk Elephant. And once I tried this, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to get a full bottle of it. And then I saw the price of it and I almost cried because I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's so good. It's so good that this is my old bottle. This is my new bottle. I had to get it. I, I absolutely had to get it. Um, I was actually going to buy something else fun during the sale. And I went and checked my bottle, and I was like, oh, my God, you have to buy that. You cannot buy that palette because you have to get your your marula oil. It, uh, it nourishes, balances, and it's, it's, it sinks right into your skin, and you can, you, it's funny because you can feel it, but it's not greasy, but, in, and it just moisturizes so well. It's like you put this on at night. And your skin just feels fantastic. I, I use a lot of skincare products because I just celebrated my 54th birthday, um, like I said, during the uh, sale. So I'm just trying to, to take care of my skin and uh, keep it healthy, keep it nourished. And, you know, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and buy what's really good for your skin because it's it's worth it this was a birthday present <laughs> um my darling daughter sent me um some sephora gift cards and oh, 
don't know what that was. Anyway, she sent me um, some gift cards and I purchased this. This is the Alginist Secrets of Algae Kit. It comes with... Okay, I'm just going to put my glasses on because oh, I'm clumsy as can be. The reason why I picked this up is because I got a sample of this in uh, my Sephora play. Got a little tiny bottle of this uh, Genius Gel Collagen Serum. Let me just read what it actually says. It's the, it's the Genius Liquid Collagen. And it also comes with the Genius Ultimate, Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream and the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I have not tried either one of these yet, but this, as you can see, I have been into. Oh, when I first got that, that little bitty bottle, it lasted for about a week. And after I used it, again, I wanted to cry because it's expensive. <laughs> but I thought with my Yves Rocher and my Drunk Elephant that you know, my, my skin can't get any softer than this, right? Wrong. This is fantastic. My skin is so plump and it just makes my skin feel and look beautiful, in my opinion. Uh, I did read a lot of the reviews about this and people were saying that they had a hard time getting the... They didn't like the the applicator they don't they didn't like this but they do tell you exactly how to use it so all you have to do is you unscrew it and then you press and then you slowly let that rise up and it will give you the amount that you need to use and you don't have to use a lot this should last a long time thank goodness because it's expensive and I don't I, I don't use it every night sometimes I use it every other night because this has got to last because I know I said you know you have to uh, pay for uh, what you what you need for your skin but oh honey but it was a gift so thank you baby girl I appreciate it thank you so much and I will let you guys know uh, my thoughts on the other products the the moisturizer and the eye cream um in in the future i'm testing out some other stuff right now so i won't be able to try that yet i liked their uh genius collagen liquid i wanted to try their collagen lip um the genius liquid collagen lip and Alginus unlocks the power of vegan collagen for younger, fuller looking lips. This unique dual phase formula suspends botanical lip enhances, suspends botanical lip enhances and hundreds of nourishing beads of microage oil. Okay, probably butchering that word. In collagen water to help visibly plump lips and improve lip definition with long-lasting benefits. I'm sorry I didn't read stuff about the other products. Again, first haul. <laughs> trying to get through it. Trying to not take forever. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. Just checking the time. So anyway, I like the um, the other one so much that I wanted to try this. Um, you know, I'm not worried about plumping my lips, but I would just like them to look smoother because I have uh, a lot of line. I love these cotton rounds, these cotton squares. They're Shiseido Facial Cotton uh, Squares. And I think I've got one more. Oh. Yeah, I, I go through these a lot. I, I, I know people say, oh, they're really expensive. You, you can cut them in half. 
um, and I don't cut them in half. I use, <laughs> you know what, I'll wait and I will do a skincare routine and show you what I do with them and how I use them. I use them a lot, so I needed to buy a lot. Okay, another one of my favorite, favorite, favorites is Caudalie. This Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir. I got this set. I've gotten maybe two or three of these sets before. Um, I have another one. I have a backup because this is my my empty bottle. She's only got a little bit left. But I have a, a backup in my um, beauty room, and I've got this one here. I have tried two of these products. Of course, the the Beauty Elixir itself, and I like this clay mask. It's a very good mask. I really like it. It doesn't dry out your skin after you've used it, and I enjoy it very much. I will probably uh, get a full size of this in the future. Now, this also has the, the, wait, I'm looking for the English. Oh, right. The Radiant Foaming Cleanser. I have not tried their cleanser yet. Uh, I have a cleanser that I've used and I love and I'm going to start trying more stuff because, you know, I, I really enjoy beauty products, but I'm the kind of person where when I find something that really, really works for me, I, I don't change it. I, I will add to what I'm using. So there's that. Let me get all that glare off of there for you. Um, so I will try this out and I will let you guys know what I think about it. I love this beauty elixir. Let me tell you about how I use this. Sometimes I use this, just I spray a little bit of it on my beauty blender and dab it on my cheeks. You, I, I don't know if you guys watch, oh I know a whole lot of people watch um, Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> Is it Jacqueline Hill? That's her name right. Okay. Um, and she was talking about somebody, Lily, somebody, or something like that, uh, that to spray on your beauty blender to really make your highlight, you know, shine like no other. And I just decided to use my color lead for that. So <laughs> I, I do use it for that, but I, I use this every night. It's part of my skincare routine. I do probably about a nine-step routine. Um sort of like the Korean nine-step beauty care thing. So, um, I use that for that. And, and I use it throughout the day if I just want to refresh my skin. So we're going to go through this bag. Doing the VIB root sale uh, the first weekend, I went in, I think this is what I picked, yeah, this is what I picked up the first weekend. I went in and I got the Too Faced Sweet Smell of Christmas. Um, not really mini, really nice size. Uh, but I mean, I guess they are mini. But really nice size um, liquid lipsticks for the holidays. So I picked up that. And of course I got my birthday gift. I chose the Bite Beauty set. They had what is it? Um, Glam Glow was the other set. And I think I got that set once before, so I decided to try that. So I'm going to put that in here. I ran out of my gloss bomb. Well, no, I didn't. I misplaced it that day. And I couldn't find it anywhere, so I thought that I lost it. So I picked up another of the um, Rihanna gloss bomb. This is the best... I know you guys hear everybody say this is the best, but everybody is telling the truth. This is the best lip gloss ever. <laughs> ever, 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 ever. And I love it. It looks good on everything. It looks good on top of every lipstick, every liquid lipstick. It looks good by itself. It's not too sticky. It lasts a long time. It smells good, and it doesn't have a flavor either. So... And even if it did, it wouldn't bother me. But, oh, 
this is just everything. Love it, love it, love it. So, uh, now I have a backup of that because I, of course, found the one that I thought I lost. Sorry in my life. Um, from Fenty Beauty, I also picked up, uh, is that everything? It's everything in this bag, anyway. I picked up the liquid lipstick in Unveil. So I've got this one. I have not even worn it yet. It's a shame, right? I know. But I've been, all my stuff has been in my bags and boxes just waiting for me to haul it so I can use it. And how do you guys feel about that? Like, like, do you like to see the people that you watch, you know, um, haul stuff first before they show it to you on their channel. I can't get this open because I'm trying to open it from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I picked up the eyeliner from the liquid liner from Fenty Beauty in uh, Cause I'm Black. So I'm really excited to try this. I, I'm not the best at liquid liner. I'm getting a little bit better. I think my wing came out okay today, right? Came out okay. It was almost an accident. I'll tell y'all a story about it another time. <laughs> It'll be a story time. But uh, I'm excited to try this. My absolute favorite one is um, from Clinique. It's really easy. It's what I use today. Uh, but I am excited to try this. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I I don't want to make a whole bunch of noise. Um. I gotta talk about this a little bit later. Okay, my time ran out. I don't know what the last thing I said was, but um, I think I was talking about the the 500 point perk that I got for my daughter. And uh, I got some birthday cards <laughs> from my uh, kids. So my daughter sent me a, um, e-gift card from Sephora but then she surprised me and she sent me a physical card from Sephora and it came like this it came with um, a mirror I don't want to blind you guys it's it's got a um, a magnifying mirror and a regular mirror in it to for travel which is very nice and it's very thin and it's great to put in your purse so thank you baby girl again then I picked up a Caudalie for a uh, beauty elixir uh, for my purse well you know how I was raving about the gloss bomb well of course I had to get this there's no way that I was not going to get this <laughs> I have not tried it yet. I did swatch it in store. I did. I, I swatched it in store and I was like, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to try this. That's, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to. I have to, I have to. I have to, I have to. I don't want to, um, oh my goodness, oh that's so pretty, and that's just a little, little bit, you see that? Ah, mm, mm, mm. it's gorgeous. I love it. I knew I was going to love it. Even from just watching it, I knew I was going to love it. I picked up the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I have tried this primer. I'm actually wearing this primer today. It blurs the look of pores, fine lines, and uneven skin tone. Primes with silk powder for long-lasting flawless makeup. Protects skin from makeup and pollution. 
Color corrects with universal shade of healthy, soft focus glow. Anti-aging Japanese superfoods help restore the look of a youthful radiance. So, I really love this primer. It, it makes your skin feel like silk. So, when they say silk canvas, they, they mean what they say. Um, I, I personally don't think I have really large pores, um, but, well, and sometimes I make the mistake of, <laughs> I make the mistake of looking in the mirror when I got my magnifying glass and I, and I completely freak out. Um, but I don't think I have really, really large pores. It, it makes my, um, foundation look flawless and smooth and it doesn't um i use this I'm, i've used this with two foundations the fenty foundation and my tinted doll 24 hour uh foundation and my makeup just looks even those are flawless foundations this just makes it even better i really really love it and i've it doesn't clog I, I, it doesn't clog my pores um and what else did I want to say about this? A little bit goes a very, very long way. This comes with it. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. <laughs> the words of YouTube forever right now. Um, so I can show you how beautiful it is. It comes in gorgeous case. This is what that looks like. Now, let me open it up for you. Now, I do wish, and I've seen a couple of other people say this too, that, um, that it had like a pop-up, you know, like you press it and it pops up, but you have to unscrew this. And that is what it looks like. It's a really light, peachy, pink color. And uh, when I was watching lots of other videos about this when everybody was raving about it, like 100 years ago, because you know in makeup land, last week is 50 years ago. <laughs> so this is more like 1,000 years ago because this was <laughs> a few months back. Anyway, um... It has a little um, marker there to, and everyone was saying it's that you scrape it, and that's the amount you're supposed to use. And I just watched—I can't—I can't remember who it was, but what she said is that the um, um, she watched a video with the creator of this, I believe. Don't don't quote me on that. But this was to first remove the top layer. Of it, and then uh, from then on, you're free to use it with your fingers if you want to. So, uh, but this was to move to remove the top film or not film. There's no film on it. I, I apologize for saying that, but just to take the top skim off, I guess. So anyway, that's what that is. So I really love this primer. I'm so glad that I have uh, a large, uh, full size, I should say. Now, you know, they had the VIB sale. And then the VIB Rouges got the shop the first and I think second weekend. And then the VIB has got the shop the third weekend. My daughter is a VIB. So, me being the psycho, <laughs> greedy little girl that I am, I was like, can you please order this for me? During the weekend, because I, I you know, because you tell yourself, no, no, don't get this. You're not going to get this. this. You can only get this. That's it. And the sale is over from, was over for me, you know, at the time, of course. So, you know, the Rouges got the two weekends. And then, so I asked my daughter to get, to order this for me. Right? This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze. All over foil luminizer. I was seeing everybody show this, and if you, you know, are in the makeup 
world, you know that everybody goes on and on about the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and was Total Tan or something like that, bronzer. Well, you know, apparently Marc Jacobs is not able to make a bronzer that's darker than either one of those for some strange reason. But he did create a highlighter that is... I've been wanting something in this gorgeous packaging for so long. I felt so... I was like, oh, I'm so envious of that packaging. They have that big bronzer in there. But he did manage to create this. Oh, my goodness. It's called... Is it called Guilty? Yes. Now, y'all remember when... Um, all that stuff went down about the locks in the fashion video and everybody canceled him. And oh my goodness, have we, we're not going to talk about the cancel culture today, but I am going to discuss that <laughs> at a later date. Anyway, um, so everybody was canceling him because of all that. So I just, I haven't even swatched this yet. Anyway, I was watching uh, uh, Women of Color and and everybody, you know, uh, fair beauties, medium skin beauties, dark skin beauties, talk about this. And the thing that the fair girls were saying was that they felt that this was too dark. And I, I said, well... Never mind. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this is what it looks like. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, just imagine this all over your shoulders, on your legs in the summertime, and your collarbone. I don't really have a collarbone anymore. <laughs> But hopefully it'll be coming back soon. Um, but that's what that looks like. Oh my God. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, for medium to deep skin tones, this is wonderful. Um, maybe he will come out with one that's a little bit lighter. And maybe he felt a little... What's the name of this? Guilty? I don't know. Just a thought. Just a little thought of mine. That's all. I got a Pat McGrath palette. I got the Dark Star palette. I decided to get that one for myself. Get that. Oh, I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna swatch too much stuff. So I'm not gonna swatch this. Um, because my video is gonna be hundred years long. So. So I did pick up that. This is gorgeous. Cannot wait to try it out. Cannot wait to use it. But I guess I could wait because I've been waiting all this time because it's been sitting here. But I thought I just needed to to um, call it before I, you know, showed it on my channel and stuff. So you guys let me know what you guys think about that because, I mean, I, I don't, I have lots of stuff that, you know, I have, that I have not used that are, you know, sitting in boxes and things. If you don't care that I, you know, don't officially haul it, I'll just, you know, pop it up in a video one day. Today I'm testing out XYZ. The reason why that Pat McGrath stuff was a birthday present because I told my daughter, I was like, okay, well, let me know where I can send you the money for it. And she was like... Mama, why are you asking me where to send money about that gift? She said about that gift. Well, I took the hint. Uh, actually, this was the other thing. I was wrong about that. The uh, palette was not. That was, I bought the palette for myself for my birthday. Um, this. This is what I had my daughter on. Honey, mm -mm. 
this is let me tell y'all what it is like i said i'm the i'm gonna get better i swear <laughs> i promise the uh blitz trance rebel red uh pat mcgrath labs blitz trance lipstick okay this is what this looks like Ooh, it's sparkly. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. Um, and it's a pink. And pink is my favorite color, by the way. And this is Rebel Red, but it really comes off as very, it's like a, oh, like a fuchsia. It's beautiful. Oh my, and this packaging, oh, I can't, I just can't. <laughs> so thank you again, baby girl. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's what my camera does. So there's an hour, <laughs> an hour has gone by, but I'm gonna have to edit a whole lot of stuff out. Anyway, or I'm gonna have to break this up into five pieces. Um, anyway, I don't know what's the last thing I said, but um, I wanted some Pat McGrath, and my husband was very, very generous to me and got me lots of nice things for my birthday. And this is the Natural Unnatural Lux Trance. I I have one another one of her Lux Trance. It's a red lipstick. I think it's in. I think I have Obsession. But I, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, um, and I really like her Lux formula. So I got this one in Unnatural Natural. And I was just going on about her packaging because it's just the best. It's like little pieces of art. So I don't know if you guys heard that or not. But anyway, this is what this one looks like. The um, Bliss Trans was, of course, holiday um, packaging. So that's what that one looks like. This is Unnatural Natural. I like the name of that a lot. I'm just going to put that right here. Oh, oh yes. Look at that. That's it right there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, and this. Oh, I can't tell you how it, when it looks, it's the perfect name. It's so luxurious on your lips. Oh, I just love it. I love it. I want more of her Lux um, lipsticks. Oh, look at that color. Look at that color, people. Look at that. Mm. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Can't wait. Can't wait now. Finally, that I got my stuff open. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Okay, the next thing I got from Pat McGrath. And this was... this color is this is a matte trance and this was in uh this holiday packaging and this is so cute huh? remember how those uh oh like legal envelopes or whatever you used to open like that <laughs> isn't that great that's so nice really cool really clever uh oh and this packaging the crown oh oh look at that gorgeous so this uh, is a Lux Trance, and this is in the color uh, Omi. And everybody, I, I I don't remember who I found this out from, but anyway, uh, this is called Omi for Naomi Campbell. So that's why it's called Omi, because people and, and I understand people were like, Omi, Omi, what is it? It's Omi for Naomi Campbell. Campbell. I'm just going to put that one right next to the Lux Trance. And this is a matte trance. And you can see that color. Oh, I can barely see that. Kind of. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm getting the hang of it, folks. Right there. <laughs> right there. It's a kind of pinky, a pinky brown, pinky a rosy brown, I think is what they describe it as, nude. So, yeah, just gorgeous packaging. Just, just full of 
over for these. Oh, fantastic. So I think that's all the lipsticks. And I have one more thing in this haul from Pat McGrath. Two more. No, two more. Two more. I have two more things. I had to get one of her lip pencils. I mean, I do have all those lipsticks, right? So I got her Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil. And I got mine in Groundwork. No, Ground Control. Sorry. I was thinking about Mac. Ground, is that ground, groundwork? Somebody has a Groundwork. Anyway, uh, Ground Control. And thank you so much, Starling, for adding a nice sharpener for us. How thoughtful of you. And I'm just going to put that right here. Oh, that's a wonderful, wonderful chocolate brown. And that's that color right there. Mmm. Oh, it's so creamy. So creamy. I have heard people raving about these. Graph on me a little bit there. It smells so good. Okay, and I believe the last thing in this order. This is the next to the last thing from Papagraph. I got this, and you know what? I wasn't able to get this. Was I able to get this? Discount? I don't think so because it went in and out and in and out and in and out and it was like look when I saw it I got it I got it because I wanted to try this is I'm sorry this is the Pat McGrath uh, mini matte trance and this is the skin show trio and I got I have one of the the colors in here is um, hold on. yes on me uh, um, Naomi, Omi, right. Um, is there's a mini in here, but I wanted to try I knew I wanted that that one. Those two that I got or those three that I got, I knew I wanted those. But I wanted to get the um this trio because I wanted to try the other two colors to see if I liked them before I got full full sizes of them. So this comes with Omi and Flesh 3 and 1995. That's a really really rosy pink, pinky rosy. The other one was sort of a uh, warm pinky brown rose so yeah um that's pretty i don't know if i'm gonna get 1995 in a, <clears throat> in a full size wait is this on me because there's no point in me swatching that one again yep that one's that's the mini okay of on me and this is flesh three That's 1995, and that's Flesh 3. Okay. And aren't these just adorable with the button purse? Wow. Um, they had a second set of this that were um, uh, red, the um, holiday looking red colors. I have like th two, I have two red lipsticks from her. And I was like, I really wanted to try these, so I did. I opted not to get those uh, this time. Okay, so where are you gonna put these so they don't get hurt or damaged? All right, put them right there. Okay, and the last Pat McGrath thing that's in this box. 
This is my birthday. My honey bought it for me. Because I was whining and complaining. And he will tell you I am the queen of complaints. <laughs> um, anyway. That, um, I... When I made my Sephora list, you know, with my loves, it was like, okay, I told myself, we're getting, you're going to be getting all your skincare. You're not buying a bunch of makeup. You don't need to buy a bunch of makeup. You know how we tell ourselves that, right? So that's what I was doing. And then I said, well, they got so much, so much beautiful stuff coming out. And my skincare is, is a necessity. It's <laughs> whatever we have to tell ourselves, right? <laughs> but anyway, no, it is really a necessity. So anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. I got it. The Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. Oh my goodness. I know everybody has, everybody and their grandma, including this grandma, has seen this. Everybody and their great grandma has seen this. Oh, all over it. All over. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have to wrap that back up. I did open it up. I've not swatched it. I'm, I, I went to, where did I, I went to the Galleria to go swatch. What was it? I wanted to swatch the dark matter in her metamorphosis and they didn't have them they're not in you can't go to a store in st louis and uh swatch them or yeah they're they're not here uh in chicago you can but as far as i know nowhere in missouri you, can you do that Oh, with this packaging. So anyway, I went in there to, to try to swatch those, and I couldn't swatch those, and I was going to swatch this in store. Couldn't. Couldn't. Oh, this packaging. Oh, my goodness. I'm keeping this box. I am not throwing away this box. No way. I wish I could have a poster of that. Port, uh, a picture. I shouldn't say a poster, but... Oh, that is gorgeous. Anyway, I know you guys have all seen this. Y'all yeah, probably fast forwarding right through my video right now. <laughs> anyway, oh, this is so luxurious. This is, I, I, I wanted to have, I wanted to have a luxury palette. And it, uh, the first luxury palette I, I got had to be Pat McGrath. Had to be. Had to be. So this is what she looks like. Oh, I'm just trying to be careful because I have the most buttery fingers. Oh, look at that. It oh, oh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want to blind you. It comes with a beautiful beveled mirror. And here, I'm going to turn it over because I don't want to um, blind you guys. And it does come with the names of the the shadows on a card and everybody I why we she we just put the why did she put the names on the look <laughs> oh trust me and I'm stealing this from my, my sissy trust me my horns are holding up my halo okay so y'all will learn more about that in the future if you hang out with me some more. My horns are holding up my halo. Um, anyway, people were talking about why didn't she put the names of the um, of the shadows in the palette. But and people are, you know, we whine and complain about the price of her palette anyway. Can you imagine how much this palette would cost if she had to engrave? Basically, you'd have to engrave the names in here. So, just, just memorize the names or, you know, keep the box, keep this. <laughs> 
and and keep on and keep it pushing <laughs> and just enjoy the palette and stop it because oh my god what seriously oh my gosh okay i did not get a chance to swatch this in store and i have been waiting to put my little fingers on this and i can be patient as you guys can see in some cases <laughs> so i'm going to swatch here i'm gonna put my glasses back on oh Okay, I'm going to let you guys know which ones I'm swatching. I could just read the names for you, and I think this is, this is, uh, yes, this is how they, they go. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to close this, oop, I'm going to hold it this way. Okay, I'm going to just hold it right there, and I think I can do this. Okay. This one is... This one right here, my finger right there. That is Skin Show Divine Glow Entrapment Bronze Blaze Rose Gold 005 VR Fire Opal. And then the bottom row is Extreme Aubergine Guilty Pleasure. Disobedient, Blitz Flame, and Astro Luna Gold. Those are the colors. So I'm going to swatch Astro Luna Gold. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, no, I'm not sorry. I'm lying. I'm sorry. Uh, VR Fire Opal. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. I've never touched anything like this before. Mm. Blitz Flame. Okay. And Rose Gold 005. Now, these are, pardon me, oh, goodness, mm, 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 mm. okay, so, uh, hold please, <laughs> take this off, 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 okay, this one is Blitz Flame. Okay, this one is, um, what's that one? Oh, yes. Astro Luna Gold. No, 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 I'm sorry. This one is VR Fire Opal. Sorry about that. Wait, I'm just trying to make sure I can see. Oh, wow. This one is like Astro Luna Gold. I think, I, I think I've got this right. I could be messing it up. I hope not. You see that? Okay. Yeah, Astro Luna Gold. And this one is Rose Gold 005. Oh, ooh, happens to all the Betsy's. Mm. Okay, so this one is Entrapment. I'm going to figure this out, y'all. <laughs> Just give me some time. Okay, that's Entrapment. This is Disobedient. Sorry, I know that's kind of off, but I'm learning. 
Okay, and this one is Extreme Aubergine. Oh, I know I said I wasn't going to swatch stuff, but I had to. I had, I had to do this one. I had to. Wow. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, thank you <laughs> for those of you who uh, stuck with me to the end of my craziness and recording my first video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope I did give you some helpful information in the midst of my madness and my anxiety about <laughs> recording my first video. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I'm shame. I, well, I shouldn't say shame on me. You know, you just do stuff when you get ready to do it, and you can't do it before you're ready. And and I just wasn't ready. And so today, I decided I was ready, and I'm so glad that um, that I recorded my first video. I had so much fun, and I I'm gonna record the second half of this and um, br and bring it to you as soon as I can. Um, Follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be, um, you know, posting reviews and updates on hauls and things like that. So um, I will link all of that um, information down um, in the description box. And I will try to list everything here. Um, uh, and some of them may not be avail available at Sephora, but they may be available at, uh, like, at the Pat McGrath's website. Um, what else do I want to say? Um, yeah, and I'll try to link those things, too. But if not, if they're not linked, they will definitely be listed. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> I'm really, 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 really happy right now. And you guys just don't know how happy I am. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I uh, upload the next video, the part two of this um, haul video. I have an Ulta haul. I have a, a huge Ulta haul, and I have a collective haul from other retailers during the holiday season so we're just gonna be hauling here for a minute you know so if you guys want to haul with me and hang and haul that would be fantastic so i know i talk with my hands all the time <laughs> okay anyway um thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you have a wonderful day and happy 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 new year and uh, i'll check you later okay